Hello there. Can you believe it's been a whopping 58 years since the iconic TV series Green Acres 1965 graced our screens? Our childhoods were defined by the thrill and mysteries of Green Acres. Imagine the fun of gathering your family on the sofa to revisit this classic, witnessing the cast then and now, reminiscing about those we've lost, and marveling at the transformations of those who still look fabulous. For all the answers, join us in our video journey. All right, let's explore together. In 1965, Tom Lester graced the screen with his portrayal of the character, Eb Dawson, a role he brought to life at the age of 27. It is with heavy hearts that we recall April 20th, 2020, when he sadly departed at the age of 81 in Nashville, Tennessee, following a battle with complications from Parkinson's disease. I'm humming. <laughs> then what did you do? Well, I looked out the window, and I saw this strange spaceship. Well, uh, now, you c can you describe it for me? Yes, sir. Wow, that's a long time, and it, it just seems like yesterday. Well, I was 25, really, when the show started, and I'm 59 now. Wow, well, you've held up good, Eb. Well, well, <laughs> Eva Gabor graced the screen as the character Lisa Douglas, casting her vibrant presence at the age of 46 during the 1965 filming. It is with profound sadness that we convey the news of her passing on July 4th, 1995, due to respiratory failure due to complications of a fall at the age of 76 in Los Angeles, California. What? You too? Look what I got. That's pretty. You didn't happen to get a couple of diamond air rangers, did you? No, I've got some sapphires. Because I could finish my, you know, I'm writing a book, which is right now called One Lifetime is Not Enough. And as it looks, it isn't, because I have so much living to and I've done so much already. Frank Caddy graced the screen as the character Sam Drucker, cast in his vibrant presence at the age of 50 during the 1965 filming. It is with heavy hearts that we recall June 8, 2012, when he sadly departed at the age of 96 in Wilsonville, Oregon, following a battle with natural causes. Hire somebody to deliver the mail for you. Yeah, if we could get them to change the classification from a 3ND to a 2MTHD. Now, that stands for... I came in to ask you... Uh... Oh, I was uh, just trying these on. Got them in a box of Crickly Wicklies. They take 12 more boxes. I'm sorry. They're... Pat Buttram graced the screen as the character Mr. Haney, cast in his vibrant presence at the age of 50 during the 1965 filming. With heavy hearts, we must convey the sad news that on January 8, 1994, he left us due to kidney failure at the age of 78 in Los Angeles, California. Is the microphone. Could I have a volunteer? <laughs> Sorry, Arlen, you ain't tall enough to talk into the sardine kid. Sawdust, and he was metal, and he had about 20 turkeys on it. And uh, when he'd get ready, he'd put a record on. And, uh, he in 1965, Alvy Moore graced the screen with his portrayal of the character Hank Kimball, a role he brought to life at the age of 44. It is with profound sadness that we convey the news of his passing on May 4, 1997, due to heart failure at the age of 75 in Palm Desert, California. Oh, uh, you mind closing the door so I can knock? Why don't you just come in? Then how would you know who it is? People ask for Anheuser-Busch natural light a lot of different ways, but around... In 1965, Eddie Albert graced the screen with his portrayal of the character Oliver Wendell Douglas, a role he brought to life at the age of 59. With heavy hearts, we must convey the sad news that on May 26, 2005, he left us due to pneumonia at the age of 99 in Pacific Palisades, Los Angeles, California. Yoder, Magda, Johan, Akeem, Bela. Look, I'm not finished yet. Yes, you are, and you're part So, uh, uh, I believe we did, <clears throat> uh, for quite a while, a couple, couple of weeks. Mary Grace Canfield graced the screen as the character Ralph Monroe, cast in her vibrant presence at the age of 41 during the 1965 filming. It is with profound sadness that we convey the news of her passing on February 15, 2014, due to lung cancer at the age of 89 in Santa Barbara, California. The other place to go. Oh? 
Well, I'll give you some addresses. Oh, please, can I stay here? Of course you can. Now, wait a... What was the fight to buy? Where are you going? Well, you're going out to get the bags. It'll be the first time we've been separated since we were married. How about that? <laughs> In 1965, Hank Patterson graced the screen with his portrayal of the character Fred Ziffel, a role he brought to life at the age of 77. With heavy hearts, we must convey the sad news that on August 23, 1975, he left us due to bronchial pneumonia at the age of 86 in Woodland Hills, Los Angeles, California. When you get back to Washington, I want you to thank Herbie Hoover for me, too. Uh, yeah, now, just a second, Mr. Ziffel. You see that, that check you received... Uh, it's not yours. Thank you, Mr. Ziffer. I want you to sign something. Sign what? I want you to put your name right here. Well, I never sign anything unless I read it. The last... In 1965, Sid Melton graced the screen with his portrayal of the character Alf Monroe, a role he brought to life at the age of 41. It is with heavy hearts that we recall November 3rd, 2011, when he sadly departed at the age of 94 in Burbank, California, following a battle with pneumonia. Like that. From you. <laughs> Didn't you tell me to apologize? Well, yes, but that was before Ralph said those things about you. What things? Oh, I don't Barbara Pepper graced the screen as the character Doris Ziffel, cast in her vibrant presence at the age of 50 during the 1965 filming. With heavy hearts, we must convey the sad news that on July 18, 1969, she left us due to coronary thrombosis at the age of 54, in Panorama City, California. Just my luck, you had to move in. Brad, if you don't want to go, just say so. I don't want to go. <laughs> he said that about our first honeymoon. <laughs> Share your favorite character from the TV series Green Acres with me. Drop your thoughts in the comments below this video, and don't forget to show your love by hitting the like button, subscribing to our channel, and ringing the notification bell to catch all my upcoming videos. I'm eagerly looking forward to sharing more wonderful memories with you. Thank you, and see you all soon.